Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Kevin, and Kevin wants to know if there's an easy way to change the color of stuff in your photo, like a sidewalk or the sky or a car, stuff like that. Well, Kevin, there actually is an easy way, and it's called the Smart Brush. Here's how it works. Let's start off by changing the color red in the surfboard to something completely different. In expert mode, so up here on the top, quick guided expert, make sure you're in expert mode. And then over here on the left, in the enhance section of the toolbar, this brush right here is called the Smart Brush tool. Click on the Smart Brush, and then come down here in the Smart Brush options. If these tool options aren't showing, could look like this after you select the tool. So just click Tool Options and it'll open up the tool options for the smart brush and in this pull down right here switch the category from whatever category it happens to be in for you to color there it is right there there's a bunch of different categories for the smart brush since we're changing colors we want a smart brush that knows about color so pick the color category and then pick a color I'm not sure what color we want this surfboard to be let's maybe just pick green and then just simply come over here on top of your surfboard where you want to change the color and drag and I'll do it kind of slowly here but what you can see is as I drag the smart brush is automatically doing a bunch of edge detection finding out where that red part of the surfboard is and at the same time painting it green so let's just drag over this part here to get that bit of the board and we also want to get this bit of the board down along the bottom so as simple as that, I've been able to turn the red of this surfboard into green. If the smart brush gets a little overzealous, if I grab my uh, zoom tool here and zoom in to say this section, you can see it didn't do a perfect job. It got a little bit of her fingers and it got the wrong part of the surfboard here. Well, just zoom in like this, back to your smart brush, and instead of the uh, additive option, select the subtractive option and then just drag over what you don't want to be green. So we'll just do a real quick drag here and you can see the smart brush is helping me find what I don't want to be turned to green. And in fact, let's just fix up her fingers here a little bit, fix up this finger a little bit and maybe just a touch right there. All right, double click on our hand and we can zoom back out. And now we've got a green surfboard instead of a red surfboard. And if I want to try different colors, right now I can do that really easily too. So with this layer selected, this is the layer the Smart Brush created, back to my Smart Brush, and you can see it automatically reselects all of the now green surfboard. And I just come back to this pull down, and we can see what a purple surfboard looks like, or a pink surfboard, or a baby blue surfboard, yellow, any color we want, um, back to red. So we can play around with different color schemes to get the kind of surfboard that we're really interested in. So that's one use of the Smart Brush to turn things a different color. Uh, but in the Smart Brush we also have a sort of more powerful capability where if I pick a different category, so instead of color, um, let's pick nature and you talked about maybe blue skies. Uh, this particular picture doesn't have any sky in it but this water in the background might look a little better if it was blue. So I'm going to go to the nature category. I'm going to select this one right here, which is make dull skies blue. Works really good on skies, of course. That's what it was built for. But it also works on water. And if I just do the exact same thing, drag around this water, you can see all that selections going on and the water is turned blue. So again, I click on my background to deselect it. And let me click on the zoom tool so we can zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on or double click on the hand back out uh, so with just that the smart brush is the only tool I needed uh, lots of different choices in the smart brush whether it just be a simple color or a nice tinge of blue I can very quickly take a photo that looks like that and completely change the colors into something different Kevin I hope that's what you were looking to do and uh, thanks for asking the question on our Facebook page, and have fun with Photoshop Elements. Take care.